Let's see here. Let's test these washer nozzles and see what happens. Oh, well, that looks good right there. That's one side. Absolutely nothing on the passenger side. Uh, so we definitely have a clog and we're gonna have to figure out what the heck's going on. These washer nozzles are actually new. All right, so I think I found what's clogging up my washer nozzles. I shook up the uh, the washer bottle. Well, I filled it with water from the hose, shook it up, and then dumped it out. And this blue sludge, which is some kind of sediment from the blue washer fluid or some kind of uh, fluid that was put in the bottle, um, that is... Uh, turned to goo and sludge so that's definitely no good so i'm gonna give it a good cleaning and then we'll put it back together so what i'm doing now is uh before i go and button this up i want to make sure everything works properly so i'm actually going to pull this hose back off there we go and then i want to blow the line out clear get any crap that's in there so i'm going to go up top here and uh well this little connection to my plug nozzle it's being difficult, so it was easier just to disconnect it at the Y right there. Then I'm gonna just, you just squeeze the tabs and push it up through the hood. So I'm just gonna take it out that way. It's a little bit difficult to get this out, just watch out. It's gonna be a pain putting that back through the little hanger. So now what I'm doing is I got my air nozzle. Hopefully I have an air compressor. Um, if not, I guess you could blow on it. But be careful, because when you try to blow through one end, the other end is going to want to whip up at you. So don't get hit in the face. Hold both ends and just point them away from you. So I'm cleaning out the line. Then I'm cleaning out the nozzle here. There we go. See, I can feel air coming out at the bottom. I'm trying to blow anything back out of there okay then the last part would be so I'm gonna put that back together blowing out the nozzle up here well I just want to blow out the line I think we should be good now so now I'm just gonna button it all back up put it back together install as reverse of removal and um, then we'll test it out and see how it went. As I said, installation is reverse of removal, but uh, when you're putting the nozzle in, be sure you squeeze the tabs. You can use needle nose pliers and then drop it down in. That's gonna be a little tricky part. And then feeding this stretched out end through this hanger piece is also fun. But um, if you use, uh, again, my favorite, a little WD-40 and then I'm gonna just kind of squish it in there twist it a little man even with WD-40 this sucks oh it's coming there we go just wiggling it wiggling it oh man try to get any dirt out of there that you might have picked up another thing that can clog the nozzle q-tip will work good for this oh there we go Aha, uh -huh. all right, now I've got everything back together is I've actually disconnected from the Y connector. I got the line just pointed out to the side. I'm gonna, I've got my bottle full of water. So I'm just gonna turn on the uh, washer so I can spray it out just in case there's anything still in that pump. I don't wanna be pushing it through the system here. All right, so I think we should be clear. Um, if you have problems, see now I have my nozzle cleared out. It sprays water, but it doesn't spray far enough. It only hits like halfway up the windshield. So what you can do is you can take one of these, uh, I think it's called a bobby pin, and uh, you can actually stick it into the nozzle and move it around and aim it. And then uh, you can get the coverage you want from your sprayer nozzle. I went ahead and experimented with the aim, and I noticed that uh, well, this would be the passenger side nozzle. There's the driver's side one over there. And uh, so the outer nozzles I aimed low and the inner nozzles I aimed high. Because what I found is that 
you want to go high in the middle of the windshield, sorry for the glare, um, to get good coverage. And then on the outer side, though, you want to shoot low because, well, that's where the wiper hits on the passenger side. That's one thing. And then also, you don't want to just spray all the water on the side of the car if it shoots too far. And then it'll also go inside the window. So um, that should be another helpful tip. Just uh, aim the outers low and the inners high. And um, yeah, you probably have to play around with them a little bit to get it just right. But I'm happy with it the way it sits and uh, works great. My washer nozzles weren't a total waste because I did buy brand new ones uh, online from Honda. And uh, yeah, now they work great. Now I'm happy with my investment finally. Let's try it now. Key on. All right. We got spray on both sides. Awesome. It's a little weak on the passenger side, but uh, oh yeah, it's because the hood's not all the way down. <laughs> But yeah, so they work. We have a successful repair. Woohoo!